Then we'll crochet the fish fin. Each petal has two fish fins. The crochet methods are the same for two fins. We'll demonstrate one of them. Take out the corresponding yarn. Working into a chain. First, make a slip knot in this way. A slip knot is made. Insert hook into the loop. Put the yarn to tighten the loop. Make sure that the loop can move freely in the loop like this. Wrap the yarn around your little finger. And then bring it up to index finger. Paint the yarn tail with the thumb and middle finger. We'll five chain stitches first. Yarn over the hook. And pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. Continue to work four more chain stitches. Five chain stitches are done. Five V shapes stand for five chain stitches. Then we work through the left loops of the chain. Turn, skip the first two chain stitches, and we work one half double crochet through the left loop of the third chain. Yarn over the hook first. Insert hook into the left loops of the third chain. Yarn over the hook and pull up a loop. There are three loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through all three loops on the hook. One half double crochet is done. Then we'll work two slip stitches through the left loops of the following two chain stitches. Two slip stitches are done. Stretch the loop and remove the hook. Break yarn, leaving the long yarn tail for sewing, and pull the yarn tail out. These two yarn tails are left for sewing later. One fish fin is completed. Please make the other fish fin in the same way by yourself.
two fish fins are completed. Please crochet the fish fins for the other three petals in the same way with the corresponding yarn by yourself. Each petal has two fish fins.